Well, with or without a green thumb, there is a way you can get your produce without making a trip to the store every week. MW Horticulture Recycling wants to teach us all how to, uh, what vegetables we can grow and, uh, and that are available through the summer. I love this idea. In theory, I don't know if I could do it, but right. I love the idea. <laughs> Four in your corners, Catherine Marsh is live there in Fort Myers to help us out. Catherine. Good morning, Chris and Jane. Yes, I myself don't have a green thumb, but I'm hoping by the end of the morning, maybe I will, maybe I'll grow one myself. But here at MW Horticulture Recycling, they do offer a free class for you to come learn how to grow your own vegetables, what vegetables to grow during what month throughout the summer. Although it's hot outside, you can still have a chance to grow your own vegetables. But for those of you at home who can't, make it to the class. We want to take you through step by step some of the importance of growing your own vegetables, why you should do it. So I've got Denise here with me, one of the owners of this place. So first and foremost, what's the significance of growing your own vegetables? I mean, why should someone do that? Well, um, there's a lot of uh, benefits of, you know, knowing what you're getting into your food, uh, having no chemicals um, and saving some money while doing it. So what's the most important thing when it comes to growing your own vegetables? I mean, wh what can we do to make them healthy, happy, edible, right. nonetheless? Well, the most important thing in anything that you do is the foundation. Um, so when you start your garden, you want to start with the right foundation. Um, and that's clearing any grass away from uh, the area that you want to grow. Um, and then uh, deciding what you're going to grow in. You can grow in pots, you can grow in a raised bed, but that's best for Florida because of the soils that we have. Um, and uh, mostly Florida sand and clay. So what we've created here at MW Horticulture is our veggie blend, which is specific for a raised bed garden. So it's the perfect blend of our organic compost along with um, peat moss and um, perlite to give it the aeration and the water management that it does need um, in this Florida climate. Yeah, even though it's super hot outside, they're still going to thrive even, I mean, because you're potting your own plant, basically. Exactly. Yep. It's really key uh, because in Florida, um, you know, you don't only have the heat, but you have the humidity uh, as well. Um, and then you get those torrential rainfalls. So you want something that's going to soak up the water, uh, but then release it um, as it needs it. And there are specific plants that you can grow throughout the summer months. I mean, not every plant is going to thrive at this time of the year. Oh, no. And that's really key. Um, and we, that's what we teach you in, one, in the classes that we hold. Um, is you right now you don't want to you know be growing broccoli and cauliflower but you can grow so many other vegetables um, okra um, black-eyed peas uh, spinach sweet potatoes um, eggplant uh, peppers um, so there's a huge variety of the plants that you can grow and that's what we want to do is we want to make you successful um, you know so you have you know you can continue to you know feed your family yeah, the healthy there, way. There's nothing like fresh fruits and veggies, guys, oh, right? No. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't know about you, but I've been to the grocery store and, I, you know, those prices are crazy. That's very true. <laughs> Good point. All right, stick with us. We're going to take you through another step coming up in the next 30 minutes. We're live in Fort Myers. Catherine Marsh Fox 4 in your corner. Catherine, thank you. You can, too, uh, learn how to grow summertime veggies at MW Horticulture Recycling this morning at 10. They have a free class at that location in Fort Myers. To register, call the number on your screen or just head over to fox4now.com.